Okay, folks, uh, just showing off a quick modification here. Um, this is a modified scale electric pit lane gain that we've had modified into a pit pro device. But as you can see, we do not have a piece of track connected to either side of the base unit for the main display tower. Uh, this is because we've actually got a different cable hooked up to a piece of track and it runs the power from the track into the base of the pit pro in a remote fashion down here. We've got a two jack version of the pit pro so we can have entry and exit sensors where we like but now what we can do because we've actually got this tower running by remote means is we can have it elsewhere on the track rather than having it solidly attached to another piece of track and therefore causing problems with track design when say the pit has to come around this way to accommodate for the tower space and it works perfectly fine the power is actually coming out of this particular track my sensor is mounted here where this yellow tape is uh, that's actually UV reactive, I've got a nice little hack coming up for that one uh, I'll show you that in a later video but if we just pull the Subaru that I've got set up next to the, uh, the line and hopefully we should get a pit opening here we go and if I just drive the Subaru over the line there you go one light extinguished. Now when I get around to it what I will do is instead of having it hardwired down at this bottom connection here is there will be a 2.1 mil DC jack somewhere in the middle of this base unit that way we can power it by multiple options say a DC power supply or a modified track power connector or we can use one of these pieces if we like. It's a fairly simple modification. What you need to do get the base piece of the Pit Pro or Scalextric Pit Lane game unscrewed and what you want to do is create a scored line between the two halves because it's like that, there's your tower section, there's your track piece and just do a scored line, make sure it's fairly neat get yourself lined up and you need a good quality craft blade in order to be able to do that and then once you've got it sorted you should have a section like this have a look inside you'll see five connectors what you want to pay attention to is the connectors at either end that's your power connections now since the track is powered by AC current it doesn't really matter which connection goes to which because it's alternating power. It's going to be positive and negative. So all you need to do is wire up your track power connection to these end pins. You can use these existing wires to connect into a DC jack or whatever. And uh, all you need to do is fit your base section back on by screwing it back together. And then once you've got your separated piece here, like this, you can fit some uh, track extension power leads the ones that normally bounce the power out to these really thin little connectors down here and up here then draw it back up to the power base of the tower and then you can have a remote tower system and that's pretty much it it's a fairly nice alteration you could put a flock over the base, get a grass tower disguise it as something else and uh, just work on it from there. So this is what we'll be using for Taku Scale Lake Straight Racing for the future. So I hope you enjoy it.